Imagine you log into Minecraft, ready to spend a few hours in your favorite game, and your account is no longer yours. Yes, that's exactly what happened to one of my subscribers and unfortunately, he is not alone. In this video, I will show you how just one mistake can cost you your license and what you can do to avoid it. This video will be important not only for those who have a license, but also for people without one, so please watch it. Maybe this video will save your account from being hacked. So let's move on to the logical question. How to avoid falling for a scam and choose the right launcher? Hey, did you forget something? It seems not. What? Well, what should come after the introduction? Hmm, wait a second. Oh right, the advertisement. Let's not drag it out or the viewer will leave. Well then, let's get to the point. If you want to guarantee your protection against hacking and obtain a Minecraft license without risks, we are waiting for you in my gameplay store. We not only have the lowest prices but also instant key delivery. There are also regular giveaways, so everyone will have a chance to get a license. I personally guarantee that you will get what you pay for, and numerous reviews and satisfied customers will confirm this. No risks, only licensing and honesty. Link in the description. Now let's continue. From the beginning of the video, you understood that trusted launchers will not steal your license. You can also guarantee 100% safety for your device from viruses. And here, not only the creators of launchers can be to blame, but also viruses in mods, resource packs, and other additions to Minecraft. The incident on June 7, 2023 has already proven that this is possible. And most importantly, you will no longer have problems with the long search for these mods and loading them into the launcher files. Many launchers already have a built-in search engine that automatically adds mods from trusted sites. So how do you choose the right launcher? Of course you can just trust the opinions of major YouTubers, but experience has shown that not all of them can be honest. This may be related to a lack of knowledge, or it could stem from selfish intentions and a desire to harm their viewers. Therefore, it is very important to be able to check launchers and form your personal opinion about each of them. In this, antivirus programs can certainly help. But if you are afraid of harming your computer, you can use the virus total tool. Just remember that it can produce false positives, for example, identifying a completely harmless but somehow suspicious file as a virus. So in this matter, it is best to rely on the source code of the launcher. Developers who have nothing to hide usually leave it on the launcher's website. But if you encounter difficulties with this, you can always visit my Telegram channel or Discord, links in the description, and ask for my opinion about any launcher. I will try to analyze it and maybe even record a separate video about it. The video has been going for a few minutes now, and finally we have reached the most important part. Launchers. And as is tradition, let's start with the official launcher. This time, I will tell you more about it than in the previous videos. As you may have guessed, it was definitely created by the developers of Minecraft, which completely eliminates the possibility of it containing malware and guarantees full security for your data. But why do most Minecraft players, including me, not even download it when purchasing Minecraft? Firstly, it requires the full version of the operating system on your device, specifically the presence of Microsoft Store and Xbox. Secondly, it offers other games from Mojang, but we came here only for Minecraft, right? And the biggest downside is the mods. Yes, you can be a die-hard vanilla player, and I don't think that's a bad thing, but you will eventually encounter a moment when you get bored with regular Minecraft, or you want to play on modded servers. Yes, and regular vanilla optimization mods are still a thing. You can struggle with installing the required version for the mods through the launcher files, but isn't it easier to do it with just a couple of clicks on the next launchers? The next launchers on the list are applications from the websites Course Wars and Modring. By the way, it turns out that the first one is a launcher not only for Minecraft. Anyone who has had even a little experience with sheep mods has already realized that they are direct competitors to each other. Both Course Wars and Modring are the largest and most trusted sites for mods and mod packs. Each of them has released its own launcher. The interfaces of each of these launchers are very beautiful and user-friendly. It is immediately clear that they were designed for players. However, both of these launchers have a major drawback. While Modring has added the ability to install mods directly only from their website, Kurt Forst has similarly added the option to install only from their website. Due to the events where most mod authors have switched to Modgreen while some have remained on CurseForge, this makes the installation of a large number of mods inconvenient. What about the claims regarding viruses in CurseForge? That wave of distribution has long passed. The developers have drawn conclusions and will strive to prevent similar occurrences in the future. I wouldn't say that Madrin is much better in this regard, but there haven't been any incidents so far, and both launchers have added protection against such issues. However, let's not dwell on these launchers for too long and move on to the indispensable classics. Let's consider the Multi-MC launcher and its forks. It is worth noting that the developer of Multi-MC works at Mojang, which means your account is already completely secure. An important advantage is that the launcher has an official Russian localization which will be useful for many. In general, the launcher is mainly intended for players who enjoy creating their own mod packs or simply playing with a large number of mods across different versions. That is, each version has its own folder with its mods, resource packs, and shaders. 
This means that to change mods and versions, you won't have to go into the launcher folders and manually change everything. You just need to exit the game and do it in a couple of clicks in the launcher interface itself. Moreover, you can name the instances however you like and organize them into groups, which will greatly simplify the search for the pre-prepared mod packs you need. Unfortunately, the launcher does not support direct installation of resources from websites, so it is necessary to know how to install mods through folders. Personally, I did not like the interface of the launcher. It's too simple and bland, but it might be appealing to someone, so I won't consider that a downside in any way. Among the forks, I can only highlight two launchers about which I can say very little. These are Prism Launcher and PolyMC. Essentially, they are all essentially the same as MultiMC, but with fixes for some bugs and better optimization. I also like the interface in them more. Among the individual advantages, I can highlight that the Prism Launcher has a Russian localization, as well as a wide variety of themes for customization. And as a culmination, let's finally move on to what I consider the best launcher, AT Launcher. Not to be confused with the similarly sounding Pirate Launcher. What is so special about it? Well, let's start with the fact that it contains almost all the advantages of the previous launchers. It has a quite intuitive and user-friendly interface, as well as a wide selection of custom themes to suit any taste. One of the downsides is that it still lacks built-in localization. However, it is actively being developed by the developers and anyone interested can help with this. Actually, I lied a little. In theory, you can download an incomplete translation and integrate it through the jar file of the launcher. You can definitely learn more about this in my Telegram channel, but I still highly recommend waiting for the official translation. In the meantime, we can move on to the main feature of this launcher. It has the most customizable version creation system. Here you can choose not only any launcher or version of the game, including snapshots and experimental versions, but also a specific version of the launcher, which is very useful in cases where some mods do not run due to core updates. Each version is a separate instance, meaning their files are distinct from one another. This means you can easily play with different mod packs on different versions simultaneously. Speaking of mods, the author of the launcher has also considered the players here. You will be able to install mods, shaders, and other resources directly from all the sites, namely CurseForge, Modrinth, Technic, and even from the website of the launcher creators. Moreover, you can download a mod pack, and the launcher will automatically create a separate instance for it, so you won't have to waste time searching for the right version and launcher. It seemed that everything was already perfect, but the developers wanted more. The launcher has many tools to simplify usage. For example, disable debug mode or clear logs to free up a lot of space on your device with just one click. Personally, I have been using this launcher for a whole year, but I have never encountered any problems. And then you hear about all these advantages and think that the launcher must have appeared quite recently. Well, I thought the same. Imagine my surprise when I found out that this launcher has been around for over 10 years. I looked through his entire history, and over such a long period, there have been no reported data leaks or attempts to harm players, which seems almost unreal for a Minecraft launcher with such a long existence. But it is what it is, certainly, indeed. I hope I helped you choose a launcher and that you won't be deceived anymore. All the links to the launchers and my social media will be in the description. I would be happy to see you in my chats, write about other launchers you know in the comments. I highly recommend that people without a license check out the gameplay via the link in the pinned post or watch my previous video. And I haven't forgotten about my great supporters. It is thanks to you that new videos are released. Thank you so much, very much indeed. Freedom and farewell, and see you soon.